Hello dear students, welcome to SSLC Social Science Passing Package Video Series. Dear students, this is my sixth video on this uh, Social Science Passing Package Video Series. Already I have uploaded five videos on this topic. So you can also watch those videos. I have given a link in my description box. So just go there and just click on that link. Uh, you will get those videos. Okay students, in that five, five videos also I have discussed the most important and expected questions for your upcoming exam. And today I came here with a very important concept it's a different concept for you and uh, especially uh, for your upcoming exam i'm going to discuss with you most important questions so you're thinking you know what is that uh, concept uh, the important concept see there students so uh, today i brought you or some of the important questions like uh, the difference between the uh, western guards and eastern guards the difference between the west coast plain and the east coast plain the difference between the Andaman Nicobar Island and Lakshadweep Island and uh, the difference between the black soil and red soil, the difference between the organized labor and unorganized labor and the difference between the saving bank account and current account. So uh, here I'm going to discuss with you uh, six questions on this. Okay, the difference between the uh, uh, whatever the questions they ask you in the question, the difference between like uh, Eastern Guards to Western Guards. Uh, so like uh, here I'm going to discuss with you six questions. So among these six, uh, uh maybe around uh, among the six at least uh, two three questions are be expected for your exam okay so uh, now i'm going to discuss with you one by one so and before that uh, the most important thing is that student if still if you are not uh, subscribe my channel please subscribe my ev talk channel because you will get more than 190 plus videos in my ev talk channel about social science about english grammar and spoken english okay student and uh, also share this video to your friends now let's move on the question students see there the first question is on your screen the first question is the what is the difference between the uh, western guards and eastern guards what are the difference between the eastern guards and western guards whatever they're going to ask you a question so here the first difference is uh, it's closer to see the western guards are closer to see and the eastern guards are not closer to see okay i'm discussing very really important points only next question is western guards are higher and continuous so Western guards are higher and continuous, and Eastern guards are not higher and continuous. And Western guards are not separated by the rivers. Western guards are not separated by the rivers, and Eastern guards are separated by the rivers. Note me. Okay. So let's observe uh, Western guards and Eastern guards difference between two. Here, the Western guards are closer to sea, and Eastern guards are not closer to sea. And Western guards are higher and continuous, and Eastern guards are not higher and continuous. And Western guards are not separated by the rivers and eastern guards are separated by the rivers okay it is the difference between the western guards and eastern guards okay now let's move on the next question the next question if they are going to ask you in exam what are the difference between the west coast coastal plain and east coastal plain there is a difference is there between both uh, uh, west coastal plain and east coastal plain see there the first difference is uh, west coastal plains are closer to the arabian sea okay then east east coastal plain are closer to the bay of bengal okay one you know, if you go to western side of the country you found the arabian sea and eastern side you found the bay of bengal so because of that here west coastal plain are closer to the arabian sea and east coastal plain are closer to the bay of bengal and next is uh, <coughs> west coastal plain lies between arabian sea and western ghats see there the western coastal plain are lies between the arabian sea and western ghats like here eastern coastal the lies between the bay of bengal and eastern ghast okay you should be observed properly you can remember it very easily so one side is it is between the arabian sea and western ghast and another one side is it is between lies between the bay of bengal and eastern ghast okay next is uh, western west coastal plains are extended from kanyakumari to gujarat see there the western coasts are uh, extended from kanyakumari to gujarat and the east, east coastal plains are extended from Kanyakumari to Gang, uh, Gangetic Delta. Okay, it is a third point. And next fourth is have uh, estuaries on the health you know. Here, west coastal plains are have uh, estuaries. Okay, they have they have estuaries. And here, uh, east coastal plains are they have a deltas. Okay, it is a, a fourth difference. This side you have found the have estuaries and this side you have found the have deltas. Okay, uh, it is the difference between the west coastal plain and east coastal plain see that the next question is 
Okay, next question is about uh, what are the difference between the Andaman, Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands? Okay, see there what is the uh, difference between these both islands? So here uh, in Andaman, Nicobar Islands we found we found the Andaman, Nicobar Islands we found in the Bay of Bengal and uh, Lakshadweep Islands we found in uh, Arabian Sea. Okay, it's the first difference. And second is uh, Andaman, Nicobar Islands we found the uh, we known as the volcanic islands in the country. And here Lakshadweep Islands we known as the uh, coral islands, islands and the Kalmartvi. And here the fourth one is third point is about the difference between the Andaman and Lakshadweep. Andaman Nicobar Islands uh, around the font 204 islands are there. Okay. Same thing uh, Lakshadweep Islands uh, around 43 islands are there. So it is a difference. Okay. These are three differences are, are there between the Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands. The first one is it is it is a pond in the Bay of Bengal and this uh, Lakshadweep pond in the Arabian Sea. So this side is uh, Andaman, Andaman Nicobar are uh, volcanic islands, Lakshadweep Islands are coral islands and Andaman Nicobar are uh, 204 is there, 204 is there and the Lakshadweep are 43 islands are there. So it is the, uh, uh, about the Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands. Then now let us move on the next question. The next one is student, see there, the next one is uh, what are the difference between the black soil and red soil? What is the difference between the black soil and red soil? See there. The difference between the black soil and red soil is black soil is in a uh, it's found in the black color. Okay, it's in the black color. And red soil you found in the red color. It's the first difference. And second is uh, black soil is high clay content. It's a very clear high clay is there. Its content is very high clay is there. And red soil are more sandy. So red soil we found in a very more sandy. And next is uh, black soil holds moisture. So uh, for a long term the black soil holds the moisture but red soil not retain moisture it's not retain the moisture for a long time or the more time okay so these are the three difference between the black soil and red soil the first thing is black soil you found in the black color red soil you found in the red color and second is black soil have a high clay content and red soil have more sandy and third difference is black soil holds uh, holds moisture and red soil not retain the moisture okay it is the difference these are the difference between the black soil and red soil so uh, if you have any confusion if you have any doubt you should ask me in the comment box i will uh, tell you and same time you should try to uh, uh, you you don't uh, quit the video in the middle so you should try to watch video until the end and you'll get uh, uh, maximum marks and same thing if you like please share this to your friends also and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay see there the next question is students uh, next question is about the uh, what is the difference between the organized labor and unorganized labor here two uh, difference are there one is what is the difference between the organized labor and unorganized labor the first is uh, organized labor work in organized sector so organized labors are uh, work in organized sector and unorganized labors are work in unorganized sector okay they both are working in the different forms so organized sector people Labors are working in the organized sector and the unorganized labors are working in the unorganized sector. And second is organized labor have a pixel wages. So here organized labors have the pixel wages and unorganized labor have a unorganized labor do not have the pixel wages. So here unorganized labor have, do not have the pixel wages. They don't have the pixel wages. So sometimes they get or sometimes they get the uh, more, sometimes they get the little. Okay. And next is organized labor have a fixed time for work so organized labor have the fixed time for work means here they work a uh, fixed time uh, like uh, 10 to 5 but unorganized sector have no fixed time for work they don't have the fixed time for work they don't have the fixed time sometimes they work uh, more and sometimes they work uh, <coughs> little but always in unorganized sector you should find the uh, more work okay next is organized labor have medical facilities so Organized labor have the medical facilities available is there, but uh, same time here unorganized labor don't have the medical facilities. Okay, these are the difference between the organized labor and unorganized labor. So it is uh, one of the most expected question for your upcoming exam. So if you found the previous year question paper, you can uh, know that how many times this question was repeated. Okay, and same thing is that. Already I have uploaded the previous year question paper from 2017 to 2020. 
so i have all discussed all the questions march june march june questions all have discussed in my previous videos you can also watch them through the subscribe my channel okay uh, now let's move to the next question the next question is what is what is the difference between the saving bank account and current account so uh, in banking they are going to ask you this question in banking lesson so here was what is the difference between the saving bank account and current account the difference between the saving bank and current account is uh, saving bank account opened by the salaried person okay if the fixed salaried person are there na they have opened this account saving bank account and same time current bank account opened by the businessman because businessmen have maximum they have you know credit the amount and sometime they have debit the amount also so because of that they have opened the business uh, current account and next saving bank account get interest here in saving bank account if you put the money it get the interest not much interest little bit interest they have get it but uh, here in current account not do not get interest in current account if you put the uh, sum up any uh, some uh, some amount of money uh, there you will not get the any interest for that money and next term uh, uh, saving bank account collect no service charges in saving bank account it is not collect any uh, service charges there is no service charges are there but in current account uh, bank uh, has collect the service charges also so uh, they have put the service charges for you and next is uh, saving bank account restrictions on withdrawal in saving bank account uh, we found that there are the restriction is there for withdrawal uh, like uh, daily you should uh, withdraw the uh, two three times or uh, monthly five times like six times like there is some uh, restriction is there on a saving bank account but uh, same uh, same time in current account you not there is no restriction for the withdrawal because in uh, current account they collect the service charges from us so because of that there is no restriction for the withdrawal okay these are the difference between the saving bank account and current account so it is also most expected most expected questions so till uh, till whatever i have discussed with questions with you in this video so these all questions are the uh, most expected for your upcoming exam so please students watch this video carefully if you are not understand if you are not getting properly again once again repeat this watch video and if you have the uh, time you should note it note this uh, uh, questions in your notebook and you should read it again because uh, uh, my intention is to at least the students who are struggle for passing so these all whatever i am going to this is my sixth video so after watching you all this sixth video definitely uh, you'll get uh, marks at least passing marks okay even these videos also help for the scorers also okay who are uh, want to get the more score who want to get the out of out for them also it is uh, helpful because here i am discussing very important questions uh, i am not uh, getting collected from the only textbook also have uh, this, uh, observed for the old questions so old questions also have observed and uh, i have collected some of the questions and discuss with you and even students you also follow me on the facebook insta and twitter also so just to go to youtube and just click on the ev talk grammar you'll get more than 190 plus videos students about the social science english grammar and spoken english and even you can also uh, follow us on the whatsapp also we have the whatsapp group there you'll get the direct link over our new video so please share this video and like my video and subscribe my youtube uh, youtube channel and thank you so much for watching my video students